Hello, Mary Richards. Hello, Lucy Lassiter. Welcome to today's anatomy question. We are in the midst of a series of videos about essential alignment. We are using this book, 30 Essential Yoga Poses by Judith Hansen Lassiter, also known as Mama. And today we're going to talk about Warrior One. So before we get to that, I want to remind everyone this is the place to go to get on our newsletter and find out about our upcoming experiential anatomy digital live online courses with Mary Richards and with mom that are fantastic. Um, so, and with you. What? You. Oh. And with you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually my role, it's so fun working with you guys because you're such fountains of anatomical knowledge. Um, and my role in all of these, I always call myself the host of these courses because my role is really to ask questions. So it's very similar to this format. If you like these videos on YouTube, you will love the courses because they're this, but even more. Um, and I really, this kind of sensation of playing dumb, the Socratic method, I think is actually... I've heard so much feedback from students that people say like they love that I ask the questions that they're too embarrassed to ask. So I really believe in learning. There is no question that's too simple. And yeah. the process for me of making these courses with you, Mary, has been, has really reminded me of the kind of value of slowing down back to basics and just really simple with this because with anatomy and physiology learning, for me, it's, it is overwhelming. And so it helps to just take it bite-sized portions, just review, like, and to get in that mode of beginner mind, just go back to it, feel like I'm just, you know, today we're just talking about warrior one, and we're just going to look at one anatomical concept and try to eat that, absorb it, digest, and let that be enough. <laughs> for today. <laughs> yes, yes, you know, it's really Zen mind, beginner's mind, you know, to quote Sunru Suzuki. Yeah. And it's so easy for me because I've studied this for so long. I've had so much coursework with labs and really fluent in the uh, anatomy, kinesiology and physiology. And uh, I forget you know, so I love the questions. I love it. And that's one of my favorite things actually about working with you. And also when I'm traveling to teach, yeah. I love the questions. Right. Because questions tell us what's alive in people. Exactly. Okay. Gift. So I'm going to jump on the mat in a moment, but here is today's question that's alive in me. <laughs> when I looked at the list in the book and you know realized okay we're about to film this pose warrior one my honest reaction was <laughs> like, <"Bleh." laughs> so, and, <laughs> true true story so mary richards why do i hate this pose what are we doing in our bodies what do you see as you travel the world teaching people you know, anatomy and uh, different ways of aligning their bodies for more pleasure <laughs> in their practice. Well, first of all, I have to say, when you did, uh, yeah, I like, ah! <laughs> because because I love that. I love the opportunity to help you reframe the pose, and so many people have that reaction to so many poses, but warrior one in particular. And, you know, first of all, we got to get off the tight rope. Okay. You know, the people are frequently instructed the world over on, on asana mats to stand, to start, you know, he, heel to arch. Right. With their feet. And if you're an eight year old boy, fine. <laughs> but if you've passed puberty, yeah, not fine. So right. this is the thing we're setting people up for, for, for whoa yeah. in the pose because we're starting out with too narrow a base. We're walking this tightrope. Use the width of the mat, not just the length. 
Use the width of your mat too, because we want to respect at all times our sacral proportions. The proportions of the sacrum. That's what. Yes, of the sacrum, which is our rudder. Okay, quick uh, Wikipedia moment. Mary Richards living Wikipedia. What is the sacrum? Remind us where it lives in our body, what it does. Go. I happen to have a vertebral column model right over here. Of course so you I do. I actually have two models. Yeah. Because one is not enough. Yeah. Okay, so here's the sacrum. This yeah. big bony wedge that sits like a wedge between the hip bones, which are, it, one hip bone is called an ilium, together the ilia. Okay. So here's the sacrum, and it is the big stabilizing chuck block for the body. Okay. Wonderful. And so I like why... Wait, sorry, I, I interrupted you. What was the last sentence? I like to think of it as our rudder because the direction that the sacrum is facing is the direction that we're going to move. And earlier you said we need to respect our sacral width. So is there variation? Do some of us have oh, a wider? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So much So excited. Yes. So uh, what I'm talking about with sacral width is right between the PSIS, the posterior superior iliac spines. Okay. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's different in everyone. And you may see someone who's four feet 11 and weighs 89 pounds. And you may have an idea that their sacrum is tiny, mm -hmm. but they could have a wide sacrum. And then you may see someone, you know, like me, who's a former rugby player, number eight, I played the, the number eight position and look at me and think, Oh, she's got a huge sacrum. Um, I have a, I have a normal sacrum, yeah. you know, yeah. a typical presentation. So that is why feel yeah. is so important because, um, okay. uh, that narrowness of base is going to jack people up. So that's an assignment for all of you who are watching. Locate your sacrum in your body. Mary, what are some of the bony landmarks we can feel to find it? So you want to look for the bumps mm -hmm. on the back of your hip bones. You'll feel these little ridges. Those are called the PSIS. And if you, yeah, oh, great, Lizzie. Um, and if you look at Lizzie's um, posterior view, you can see she's got her thumbs in these little div divots or dimples. I like to call those the dimples of Venus. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I learned that from a farmer. The dimples of Venus ride right above your PSIS. So you look for your dimples of Venus and that tells you how wide your sacrum is. Okay. Oh, I keep bumping my radiator. Okay. So I'm going to jump on the mat and we're going to do uh, <laughs> warrior one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm okay. Gonna go to the left. So okay, so I've been taught heel to arch here. Yes. How wide do you want me to go? I want you to step your feet as wide as you'd like them to be. I'd like you to step your feet so wide that your hips and your sacroiliac disappear. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. And. So just by doing that, it frees up the lumbosacral rhythm, et cetera. And then when you're ready, you move into Virabhadrasana 1. Okay. Wow, it's so different. Yeah. Because see, now you've got room to move. Mm. You're no longer in a bony block. Mm-hmm. Okay, say one thing about that as I do it on the other side. What, when, so when, we, yeah. when we line up heel to arch or heel to heel, for the overwhelming majority of people, that's too narrow for their sacral width. And what that does is it jams their hip bones into their sacrum so they can't move. What? I have found a modicum and not insignificant portion of more pleasure and friendliness with the pose. And for that, <laughs> I say thank you. Yay. All right.
I want everyone at home to do the following. Number one, I want you to get on your mat and try this. Just be honest with yourself with the sensations. See how it feels. Leave us a comment in the YouTube below. Let us know how it's going for you. I would also love for all of you to visit experientialanatomy.yoga and get on our newsletter. Um, what else? Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And Mary Richards, tell us where we can find you on the internet. You can find me at maryrichardsyoga.com and on Instagram at yoga with Mary Richards. And then on Facebook at a little yoga goes a long way. Okay, fantastic. I'm lizzielassiter.com and on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much. It is always a pleasure to work with you. Goodbye, Mary Richards. Bye, Lizzie Lassiter. Okay. Penelope is so just, she's just staring at the camera. <laughs> so funny. Such a weird kitty.